Greetings, my friends. It's been quite a while since I uploaded any videos, and I just wanted to let you know that I have not foregone doing astronomy live streams. I will get back to those. Uh, it's just been a very cold, cloudy winter, and on the nights when I would have been available to do a live stream, uh, it's either been clouded out or I just couldn't get out there to do it. Uh, I've been listening to the radio quite a bit with my uh, SDR here, my Fedri SDR. And a couple of weeks ago, on the 14th of February, I was doing a bunch of recordings, and I noticed at the 6 a.m. recording, there were quite a few Asian stations coming in on medium wave, which uh, I often see the, uh, the carrier signals, which are these lines coming down here in between the normal frequencies that American AM stations are on. In the United States, AM stations are separated by 10 kilohertz, you can see 690, 700, etc. But over in Asia and elsewhere in the world, it's often by 9 kilohertz. And that's what all these intermediate spikes are. These are the carrier signals from stations in Asia. And one of them came in really clear, and that is uh, J-O-U-B out of Akita, Japan. And it's a, it's a very, very strong station. Ten times the broadcasting power that any American station broadcasts at. It came in really clear for a while. I was quite surprised being this far inland how well it did. Uh, so I'm going to shut up and just let you listen to a little bit of it and I just thought it was pretty cool station you know I don't know how many thousand miles away I'd have to measure probably at least 3,500 to 4,000 miles if not more so uh, here we go And 
see it's starting to fade out a bit, that number in the upper left corner of the waterfall display is currently at 37. There's the signal strength, you can see it's dropping, it's over 40 for one. Uh, and these stations fade quite a lot, as you can imagine. And, uh, but this was the best I've heard for Japan in this far. And definitely the best this one. Well, thank you for listening, and once again, I will get back to astronomy at some point, hopefully this month. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.